Hi, this is Kat at InkingPaperWithKat.com. Welcome today to today's project. For all of the measurements and dimensions for this project, please check my blog site, InkingPaperWithKat.com. They'll be listed there. Today's project is this cute little envelope punch board box. It was designed to hold two of the Hershey's snack size candy bars. So it's the, that size. We are using the um, Toil and Trouble DSP. Yeah, that's right. Toil and Trouble DSP and the Cauldron Bubble Stamp Set for today's project. So let's get started. The first thing you need is a piece of 5 and 1 8 by 5 and 1 8. DSP. You could also use cardstock. It would work just as well. You need a scrap of Whisper White. You need a scrap of, in this case, I'm using Gorgeous Grape. And you need your envelope punch board. So, we are going to start, and because this project has an extra fold in it, I'm going to go through each side. So, please bear with me. On side one, you are going to punch and score at two and a half. Punch and score at four. Rotate it 90 degrees and you are going to punch and score at one and a quarter. Now one and a quarter is right here next to the punch button. Punch, score, move it down to two and three quarters, punch, score, move it down to three and a half, and score. Do not punch. Rotate 90 degrees. Punch and score at two and a half and at four. Rotate 90 degrees. You are going to punch and score at one and a quarter. At two and three quarters. And you are going to score only at three and a half. All right. So that is all of our scoring. We do need to round the corners. Now you don't technically have to round your corners, but I think it gives a nicer look to the project. All right, let's fold and burnish. With the larger of the triangles, at the top and bottom, you are going to fold up, burnish, go to the next one, fold up, and burnish. The last one, you are going to fold towards you. That was the score only. Turn it around and do the same thing. Fold, burnish, fold up, burnish, bring this one back on itself and burnish. The sides are just fold up and burnish. And turn it around. And that is our paper to make our box. Now before we assemble this, I want to do a bit of stamping because I want to make sure my ink dries because I'm going to be using the watercolor pencils. So take your scrap of Whisper White and you are going to take your stamps. We are using the Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble and this little tiny frog. We're going to use Gorgeous Grape to stamp the 
sentiment and archival black to stamp the frog. So we're going to put the sentiment down first. close out before I get it all over everything. And then we're going to put our little frog down. We just want to make sure he's kind of straight. And I'm going to stamp him right above the sentiment. Let's set that aside and let it dry really well before we go any further with coloring. All right, now with your paper like this, so your bigger triangles are on the top and the bottom, you are going to cut up, and I'm looking to see where you can best see the score lines, on the side of each of those triangles, and you're score cutting up right to that first score line. Turn it around, do the same thing again. Some of this paper is really difficult to see your score lines. Okay, so now this is going to go together like this. So let's put some adhesive on our tabs. You could use fast fuse, you can use snail, you could use liquid glue, you could use tear and tape, whatever works easiest for you. For me it's fast fuse. Now I am going to take just a tiny little wedge out of each of these tabs and only on the inside, not on the outside. And that's just because I want a nice straight close. And given that this is DSP and not cardstock, it doesn't have as much rigidity. So whatever I can do to help it, I will. All right, so fast fuse or adhesive of choice on all four of the tabs. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to bring the sides up and match the corners. You do that on all four sides. Now whenever I use fast fuse or even tear and tape and I'm doing this, I pull my flap back, see if you can see, like that, line up my sides and then I push my flap into the other paper. Okay. So there's our little box, just like that. You need to use a 1 8 inch punch and line up your points. Just go in and punch a little hole. Okay, now we can take our two little candy bars and plop them in there. All right, let's work on our little tag. So we have the bubble bubble toil and trouble and we've stamped the little frog and I am using the granny apple green and Daffodil Delight watercolor pencils. And all I'm going to do is color this little frog. Nothing fancy. I'm going to color his little belly yellow. 
And then I'm going to take a water pen, and I don't want it to be too wet, and I'm just basically smoothing out the color. It was a down and dirty color job. And the same thing with the little belly. Now, if you think the belly is too bright, just use the water pen and pick some of that color off and wipe it off. All right. We are going to use the Christmas Tradition Punch. And you're going to line that up. Punch. A one and three quarter inch circle punch. We're going to punch from the gorgeous grape. I'm using a dimensional. I just want to pop this up a little bit. And before I adhere it, I'm going to put a one eighth inch circle hole right there at the top so it's like a tag. I think you can see. yeah you can see and now I'm going to adhere my label now this is going to be on the top so I want to make sure that I'm adhering it correctly don't want my frog hanging around upside down and then I'm going to take a piece of thin baker's twine and double it over feed the loop through that hole and then I'm going to feed the ends through that loop bring in my box feed one end of the baker's twine through the hole on the top and tie. Now you can have this hang as loose as you want. I want mine coming right off the top. A little bow. Turn my head ends. And there you have it a cute little treat box for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you give it a try. And if you do, let me know how many you made to give out for Halloween. Thanks for joining me.